I'm an invasive Burmese python. <laughs> I'm here in the Everglades. Okay, I'm not really a snake. You might know that because I can walk on two feet, but Burmese pythons are invading the Everglades. Scientists say that a thousand of the snakes have been captured in the Everglades and nearby areas since 2002. It's not exactly clear how the snakes, which can grow more than 20 feet long, got to the park. But one guess is that pet owners got tired of their snakes and let them go. South Florida is a subtropical climate. It's very hospitable to a lot of tropical plants and animals. Um, we have very few days that get below freezing. Um, so this is a place where tropical animals can usually find a home. Burmese pythons like the heat, and that's where global warming comes in. As the planet warms up, pythons will head north. Some scientists think the Burmese python could make its way to New York by 2100. Ketterlin doubts that'll happen, but says in South Florida, the snakes are here to stay. We definitely don't feel like the Burmese python is going to cause the collapse of the Everglades ecosystem. Um, and even though we realize that they're established, um, we are able, we feel like, to uh, somewhat control that spread of the population. The more snakes they catch and keep from breeding and spreading, the better. Because pythons are indiscriminate eaters, swallowing whatever birds and mammals they can get a hold of, including endangered species. It's one reason Burmese pythons are the future.